Hi, everybody. I'm DJ Foster with Grand Valley State head soccer coach Jeff Hostler. And, you know, National Signing Day is not just a big uh, a big day for football programs across the country, as the soccer teams now have a uh, make it a big deal on National Signing Day. And we bring in Coach Hostler to talk to us about it uh, from the soccer program that has been to four straight national championship games, has won three of those four titles. And, Jeff, you had a class of a dozen athletes come in uh, that all signed today. It's hard to summarize, obviously, maybe maybe 12 newcomers that haven't uh, you know even really stepped foot together on campus here. But how do you try and... Uh, uh, kind of wrap your head around what you were able to do today and bring in those 12 players. Well, 12 is a, a large number. Uh, it's definitely our biggest class we've had here. Uh, we did have a class of 10 two years ago, so we have some familiarity with, with big classes and, and how to manage that group individually and, and mold them and mesh them with returners. Uh, there's no question we graduated a lot of players and our best class in school history, so uh, a lot of good soccer that uh, has to be you know replenished. Uh, I think this class is very talented, uh, but they all have to learn how to win and win at the highest level uh, and compete uh, with our expectations that we have as a coaching staff and as returners. So we're really excited. Uh, you know, these kids made a commitment to uh, join the program, you know, really years ago. Uh, that day has finally come for them to celebrate and officially recognize uh, the opportunity they have. And uh, we're really excited to get them here and hit the ground running. Grand Valley State soccer fans can see the full list on GVSULakers.com. They can go break down each each girl individually. How would you summarize the group? Is it stronger maybe on the offensive side? Did you get a bunch of defensive-minded players? Uh, kind of give me the whole breakdown of, of the dozen players total. Yeah, so we touched on the graduation. We have uh, clear holes in, in every line of play. Uh, goalkeeper is the one position that we return everybody. Uh, but we did add a goalkeeper in this class, one that's got some big-time experience that I think will – uh, will will definitely help us. Uh, and in each line, we added a good number of players. Um, you know, starting from from the back forward. You know, we really have. I think this on paper will be our our deepest back line, just because of the level of players that we add and the returners that we're able to bring back. Uh, midfield was pretty thin for us this year, uh, both in in size, but a lot of it was due to injury. So we're gonna get a couple of players back that were out due to season ending injuries that never had a chance to compete this year. Uh, you know, Corey had a medical red shirt, so um, we're going to get a kid that, that would have made a big impact for us this fall, now be a red shirt freshman in addition to three other uh, players in this class that uh, are going to do very well, very well for us, I think, out of the middle of the park. And then up top, uh, a couple of uh, really good athletes uh, with a lot of pace. Um, you know, that's going to create some problems for some teams out on the wings. So, and obviously when you graduate Jama and Kenny, that's, uh, I think, 37, 36, 37 goals between the two of them. That's a lot to replace. But uh, it's not just about this class. You know, we, our returners are going to all have to step up. Uh, we learned at the Final Four this year that we have to get a lot better. Uh, and we got to get, you know, more, uh, we got to be more complete. And, and hopefully this, this class is a step in the right direction. Football signing day obviously is today. They're a little bit different than soccer as they redshirt a lot of guys, some guys you won't see for two, three years. Your sport's a lot different. Some of these players can make impact as soon as next season. How do you try and blend those in with the returners you have back? Because obviously you have some talented kids coming back. Yeah, we do. Um, you know, all of our kids have something in common. That's the fact that they, they want to compete. And so our returners are really excited to welcome this group in uh, because they know it's going to give them an opportunity to be better, uh, to push themselves, and uh, that we just have to simply fill spots. Uh, I, I, I think there are a lot of spots in our starting 11 that are up for grabs, but at the same time, I'd like us to have a different starting lineup every day uh, because it's that competitive. And, uh, you know, I think this group is one of the things beyond their talent is the fact that they all understand what they're coming here to do, um, and that's to compete and compete at the highest level and to win. And so they know what they're signing up for. They're excited about it. Um, they're really eager to hit the ground running with that. And they have a lot of experience, too, and we've got – you know, four or five kids that were mainstays uh, and big parts on their National League teams. Got a couple uh, club national champions. Um, you know, so they've played in some really big games already and understand how to prepare and, and do it at the highest level in club. And now we got to work towards making that translate here, you know, at the college level. I mentioned, obviously, at the beginning, four straight national championship games and three titles in that run. Obviously, these 12 won't have any part of this upcoming spring season, but where does this team go from here as you get ready for, for spring ball in the next few months? Yeah, so the spring, uh, you know, we have a pretty small group of returners, to be fair. Um, it's going to kind of be experimental, uh, which can help us. Some kids having to learn some different positions just from the sheer matter of, 
putting on 11 players out in the field for our spring games. Uh, we did add a transfer at the semester that I think will really help. Uh, she's done very well in our, our training so far the first couple of weeks. Uh, you know, it scored, you know, 29 goals as a freshman, and I think she had 12 as a sophomore. Uh, and was player of, the com player of the year in the GMAC. Uh, so we've been able to add that, which is nice to add a little, just a new body already uh, to start to implement into things. And uh, some players are still on the mend and getting healthy, but our kids that are healthy are working really hard right now because uh, we've got a great spring schedule and we want to challenge ourselves as much as possible in order to get ready for the fall. Grand Valley State Head Coach Jeff Hostler here. Go to gvsulakers.com. You can look at the entire group of uh, 12 student-athletes brought in for the 2017 National Signing Day class. Thanks for joining us here today.